Hello everybody and welcome to yet another throwback review. In today's video we shall be unboxing and reviewing the Transformers Dark of the Moon to Karatomi exclusive Optimus Prime with Mech Tech trailer. Now as always if there is a particular figure or character that you would like me to take a look at in the next episode please feel free to let me know down in the comment section below and I would really appreciate it if you guys could all smash the like button, hit the subscribe button and of course click that notification bell. This was actually a figure that I showcased way back in November of 2019 when I did this epic Transformers Dark of the Moon haul and on a personal level I just cannot believe how quick time actually flies. I've had this in storage for near enough two years now and I'm really excited to actually crack this open. I do believe that this was once again a Takara Tomy exclusive meaning that it never actually came to the mass retail market although I have got to be honest and say that the trailer that this particular figure comes with I believe is potentially the best DOTM Optimus Prime trailer that we have ever gotten. You can see here that for the packaging we have a great window view display which showcases the original Dark of the Moon Voyager class Optimus Prime, which I believe this time has a better movie accurate deco as the original release had this almost solar panel detailing, whereas this figure here does appear to better resemble what we saw in the movie. We do get a super cool looking mech tech weapon, a weapon which I personally do not have yet in my collection. This is Optimus's Iron Blaster and it does transform into of course one of the signature Michael Bay Optimus Prime blades. We of course do get the amazing looking silver trailer as well as a Takara Tomy collector's card and as we spin around here to the back of the box we have images of Optimus in both the truck and trailer which was really the main reason why I picked this figure up as I think this here is going to look absolutely sensational. We of course have Bumblebee and Ratchet which can apparently actually store within the trailer and then of course we've got the trailer configured with loads of different mech tech weapons. Unlike the movie this doesn't actually convert into the annular ring so in some regards the most recent studio series leader DOTM Prime is more accurate as of course that trailer did actually convert but just as a trailer on its own I think this one here looks fantastic and and we've of course got a really awesome image of Optimus Prime and be sure to look out for Transformers Prime which is now also a whopping 10 years old. Time truly does fly when you're having a great time. As we spin around here to the side, the latest battle enhancement equipped by Transformers Warriors is the incredibly powerful Mech Tech weapon system. I'm not sure about yourselves but for me Mech Tech was definitely the best gimmick that we got out of any of the movie lines and so I'm really excited to revisit here with this particular figure. So without further ado, let's crack this open. I'm just hoping that upon getting the figure out the packaging it doesn't crumble into dust as this is of course a 10 year old release now so I imagine we shall take it from the bottom so we'll slip the tape here and then slip the tape here along the sides and then hopefully if all is well we should just be able to remove this section and hinge this up pull out the tray And the entire box is unfortunately tearing away at itself. Just pull this whole section here out. And there we have Optimus Prime and the Mech Tech trailer looking super, super awesome. Especially now without that see-through piece of plastic, the detailing and the paintwork on these figures looks absolutely sublime. And once again, check out that super awesome metallic silver that they've used here for the trailer. Of course, we do get the Takara Tomy instructions, which have got some really nice looking artwork there of Optimus, Megatron and Bumblebee. Of course, we do also get a collector's card, which is here in the packaging. I wonder if we'll have to remove any tape to actually get this section here out. So you can see there, we've got some nice statistics here on Optimus. And then as we take a look here towards the front, we've got a super cool image of DOTM Prime with, of course, that really cool Ion Blaster. And then now let's get to actually unboxing the main figures themselves. So we shall begin by taking the trailer. Let's just snip that there. Snip this section here. And if all is well, this should just slide clean out, although I am meeting with some resistance. Here we have the DOTM trailer. Looking super, super cool. We'll just set that there off to the side. We've got the new mech tech weapon. Let's just snip that. And pull this out. And how does this work? Okay, so unfortunately the spring does appear to have gotten stuck over time. But you can just see how it is the ion blaster. And then, of course, transforms there into the blade, which we'll take a look at later on in the review. And then, of course, getting down here to Optimus Prime himself. Let's just free him from his plastic clamshell. I do know there are many that aren't a huge fan of the Voyager DOTM Optimus. I personally actually thought that it was the best one that we got. 
out of that particular DOTM line. I wasn't a huge fan of how the Ultimate Optimus looked, whilst it was a good figure, of course, due to novelty reasons, as it was a giant. I believe it was one of the biggest Transformers at that current point. It was, of course, not 100% accurate to what we saw in the movie, whereas I thought this one here was a pretty close approximation to what we saw in the film. And then if we can just come here... There. Here we have Optimus Prime free at last after 10 years of being locked away and all of the joints feel great. The figure has not crumbled into dust as I initially suspected and something which I am noticing straight out of the packaging is that he does not have those huge gas canisters that the original Voyager class did have. So maybe Takara did actually make some modifications to the mold itself. I'm going to go away, mess around with this figure for a couple of hours, of course, transform it and then I'll come back to you with the full review of Optimus Prime and of course the Mech Tech trailer. And so, taking a closer look here at Optimus Prime with the Mech Tech trailer, oh boy, did this figure here bring back so many nostalgic memories. The DOTM Voyager Prime was actually a really decent mold, and I'm surprised that it is a figure that really and truly does get forgotten about nowadays, as the engineering, despite it being a little lazy in some areas, for the most part is really, really well executed. However, before we take a look at Optimus Prime, I first of all just want to discuss the amazing looking Mech Tech trailer. Now, of course, Dark of the Moon was the first time that we were actually introduced to a live action movie prime with a trailer and unfortunately for michael bay movies it was the last time but i absolutely love how this here has turned out i do believe this here was a complete original mold designed specifically for this particular release so i don't believe it came with any other figure than this and if my memory serves me correctly i can't recall ever seeing this after this particular takara tomi release but regardless you can see that the entire trailer has been completely painted in an amazing metallic silver it really does set it apart from what we got with the ultimate optimus prime and of course even even the most recent studio series DOTM Optimus Prime you can see we've got some nice details there such as all of this grating the Autobot insignia which I maybe would have liked to have seen picked out in a nice red paint of course we do have some amazing metallic blue highlights throughout this as well which looks incredibly accurate to the movie we have what I believe was the refrigeration unit my knowledge on trailers is not up to scratch but I'm pretty certain this here was a refrigeration unit and of course we've got the Autobot insignia there with some fantastic metallic highlights there on the side and then as we spin around here to the back you can once again see some amazing detail here such as these bars and of course the different locking mechanisms with the tail lights and also a really really nice metallic silver. If I had any complaints with this trailer in this mode it's that I wish they could have maybe picked out the hubcaps in a nice silver but regardless it has turned out to be a really impressive looking piece. Now as far as functionality is concerned you do just want to come here to the back and of course you can lower this. Now I'm pretty certain that these sections here are supposed to hinge out to the sides than as opposed to just completely collapsing down but it works reasonably enough here for a toy and of course we do have a massive hollow cavity which can indeed I would say fit roughly three deluxes at this current time I merely only have one deluxe fully transformed and that is the studio series ROTF Bumblebee and you can see that he can easily be stored and placed all the way back there in the trailer so once again you could probably get another or perhaps even two more deluxes in there the trailer can also split open so you will have to take this section and you are actually supposed to unpeg this here first and then bring this down. We can then take this section here, rotate this section down, just take Bumblebee and set him off to the side, completely open this out, and you could also do this for when it is in this configuration, or the instructions do actually show it being completely risen here. And you can see some really, really nice looking detail. Of course, we've got some fantastic looking sculpt work of all of the various different hydraulics, which I think has turned out really nice, and various different mech tech ports, which are of course there, in order to holster some of the other weapons from the Autobots and Decepticons. So overall, quite a nice looking trailer, and whilst this functionality isn't something that I shall be using, it is is nice that they did do something with this other than it of course just being a non-transforming trailer and another really nice touch is that they have actually engineered these spring-loaded fillers so that if you do place mech tech weapons in and then you remove them these sections should actually spring into place in order to fill out the holes of course it doesn't do a great job but the thought was definitely there and believe me it looks a lot better than just having a load of hollow gaps scattered throughout this so now of course bringing Optimus Prime here into the equation for those of you who own the original 
original DOTM Optimus, you'll pretty much know what to expect here with this particular release. The three major differences are, of course, now that we have a more movie accurate looking color scheme. He now comes with a completely unique mech tech weapon, which once again, I don't believe we saw outside of this release. And they have actually retooled the back, which I was not expecting at all. This was definitely a surprise upon unboxing the figure for the first time. I immediately noticed that he no longer had those ghastly looking huge canisters on the back. They are definitely a lot more compact. And in my opinion, this is the superior version of this particular mold. But taking a look here at the details, you can see that as far as that head sculpt is concerned, it looks fantastic. The original trilogy of Michael Bay movie Optimus designs has always been my favorite. And just to revisit this particular figure, oh my goodness, I really hope that one day we can in fact see the Peterbilt semi-truck version of Optimus on the silver screen again. But nevertheless, you can see that as far as the silver paint is concerned, it looks really nice there for the mouth guard, picking out some of the sharper details of the sculpt. It does appear as if he does have light piping, although they have applied a very light wash of blue just to give you that sense of realism and to really match his appearance in the movie, which for the most part, I think works quite nicely. Of course, we've got some nice mechanical detailing here on the sides. We do unfortunately have a faux chest, but that does appear to be something that we have seen across the board for all of the most recent versions of Optimus, at least for the Studio Series line. And here, I don't think it works too bad at all. You can see some fantastic silver detailing there for the abdomen section. Of course, the arms were rather clunky and almost resembled that of a gorilla. So perhaps this here was a design influence from Optimus Primal himself. But once again, I don't think these here look too bad at all. You can see the fists clearly sculpted there. And of course, we do have the huge wheel hanging off the side, which isn't the best, but definitely isn't the worst. And then as we turn our attention here down to the legs, you can see some very nice looking sculpt work. And this is actually an area which I believe turned out really, really nicely. You can see we've got some nice flame detailing here on the bottom. The toes have been sculpted really well. I maybe would have liked to have seen these sections have a black outline in order to replicate the tires, as of course the real wheels are indeed on the base of the feet, and then of course here on the tops, which is not screen accurate. As far as articulation is concerned, Optimus does have a ball joint, so it can look up and down, tilt side to side, and rotate left to right. We do get full rotation here at the arms, as well as a hinge joint, which can hinge out to the sides. Full rotation here at the bicep, double joint here at the elbow, due to transformation which can allow for an excellent curl we of course do get ball joints here at the wrists full rotation at the waist soft ratchet joints here at the legs which can kick slightly past 90 which is to a terrific degree in my personal opinion they can of course kick back which too is fantastic they can ratchet there out to the sides we do get a rotation here at the thigh 90 degree bend there at the knee and then finally taking a look here at the foot i was really surprised to actually remember that he does indeed have ankle rocker pivot which is super super cool of course optimus does come with this all new mech tech weapon which was one of the key reasons why I did actually pick this figure up as this looks so cool and really defeated any of the mainline DOTM Optimus weapons that we did get. You can see this perfectly resembles his Ion Blaster that we see him use in Revenge of the Fallen and the 07 movie. I believe in Dark of the Moon he had more of a shotgun than as opposed to this silver piece but regardless you can see the scot work on this too has come out really well. We've got some minute details such as the barrel of the gun and of course as it is a metric weapon if you do apply some pressure to this it will actually sling forward and we reveal a very nicely sculpted looking Energon blade. Now of course whilst not 100% accurate to the movie I definitely definitely think the impression is there and I really like how this has turned out. Of course we've got the gold metallic paint in order to replicate the shade of plastic that they have actually cast this in and you can see some nice details there such as the Cybertronian hieroglyph. So overall as far as a mech tech weapon is concerned I believe this one here is probably one of the strongest that we got out of that line and of course as I begin to do more of these throwback reviews you guys shall be seeing more and more of what different mech tech weapons certain figures did come out with. But turning to Optimus Prime's transformation to begin with you're going to want to take the fists here and just tuck those there into the sides. You'll then want to take these sections and disengage those there from either side. We can then rotate this section down, take the ratchet joints and hinge those all the way there to the back. I then believe you want to hinge this out to the side, bring this down and of course repeat the same process. We can then take this back panel, unpeg that, fold the head in and snap that in there like so. We'll then want to bring these up and around and of course we do indeed reveal these pegs which will peg into this slot. So hinge this section down and just snap that there into place. Shift this here all the way up and you can see how we do of course have a peg and port that this will just slide into and then shoot the grill up as well in order to create something which looks along the lines of this. Repeat the same process here on the opposite side. So bring this around, rotate that down and align that peg and port up utilizing the double joint that we got there for the elbow. Snap that into place, take this, shift this upwards, bring this up and over 
And then, of course, just tab all of this here into place and snap that there into the front, just where the windscreen is. We can take the wheels, bring those down, and repeat the same process here on the opposite side. You'll then want to turn your attention here to the back pieces, lift this up, and then take the wheel here, disengage this, pull this section forward, and then just collapse all of this here in upon itself like this. Come here to this side and repeat the exact same process. So hinge this up and around, bring this in, and snap that there into place. Take the two halves, peg those together, and then it's just a matter of bringing that in. Come to this side and repeat the same process. Take this section, extend that, of course, extend this, and then bring this entire region up and over and just align this up appropriately with the top section of the truck. So snap all of that in take this here and of course we do have a tab that will peg into this slot so just peg that in there as well repeat the exact same process here on this side fold out the smokestacks and here we have the voyager dotm optimus prime fully transformed up into a rather decent looking peterbilt semi truck and so taking a closer look here at optimus prime fully transformed up as mentioned throughout this review i actually believe this particular voyager class mold was really really well done especially for a 2011 era of course it was slightly overshadowed by the previously released hunt for the decepticons voyager optimus which some regards myself included as being one of the best voyager primes to date and of course whilst this here isn't up to the standard that that figure set I still think that it is a nice Optimus Prime substitute and here with the Takarotomi better paint job it really does help to bring this mold to life of course we've got some really nice looking silver detailing there for the smokestacks as well as the air filters unfortunately as mentioned with the trailer they have decided to leave the hubcaps just a complete cast piece of plastic and it would have been nice to have gotten some of that same silver paint here for the gas canister as well as this section but overall I think it has turned out really nice of course we do just have the Gray plastic here at the front which once again I would have preferred to have been silver but we do get that signature Michael Bay flame detailing here for Optimus and I think that there too has come out really well. I actually surprisingly like the clear transparent plastic that we have here for the windscreen usually I do prefer it to be tinted but in this case I think it works quite well and you can also see some nice sculpt work which you actually don't see when we have him transformed in robot mode. As we spin around here to the back of course there are some gaps and it doesn't look the best however with the trailer attached this is something that you are really unlikely going to see and then finally as we turn into the underside you can see how he does compact rather nicely of course all of the wheels are pinned which if you are a long time viewer of the channel you guys all know that I much prefer pinned wheels when compared to the mushroom peg wheels and here for DOTM Prime it certainly does work you can take the mech tech weapon and peg this here into the trailer hitch or port it into any of the mech tech ports that we have scattered throughout the figure or of course you can bring in the included mech tech trailer take this section and just rotate this back in order to expose a trailer port that will peg there into the trailer hitch and once aligned up appropriately there we have the Dark of the Moon Optimus Prime complete with his trailer and this is most certainly how I shall be displaying this on the shelf as I think this is one of the better DOTM Optimus Prime with trailer figures that we have ever gotten even being a rival for the actual studio series leader as the smokestacks in my opinion look better on this figure and of course the trailer itself looks so so much nicer so overall that just about wraps up my throwback review here for the Takarotomi exclusive Transformers Dark of the Moon Optimus Prime with Mech Tech trailer I really hope that you enjoyed this throwback review and unboxing if you did please do let me know down in the comment section below if you guys have this figure also be sure to let me know your thoughts on it and as always please feel free to let me know on what character or figure you would like me to take a look at in the next episode as honestly i'm open to pretty much any of the dark of the moon figures or characters i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please smash that like button and until my next review i'll see you then thanks for watching